Hello Lulus, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you'd like to be a member of the chat box, which is a paid channel membership, you can join by clicking the link in the description bar. It is $1.99 to join and you do have to be at least 18 years old. Today I am here with baby Hans and I am, I've seen this topic floating around and I thought how fitting is it for me at this time, at this moment, um, to actually do this topic. Um, I haven't watched like a lot of the videos of people, uh, of what their responses were, but I think it's something like, does this hobby still do it for you? Um, and I, I saw it on, uh, I think Queen Bee's channel or something like that. Um, forgive me. I'm just kind of doing this off a whim, but you know, it's like, it's seasonal for me. I think the hobby will always do it for me per se, as far as when it comes to the actual hobby, the doll collecting itself. I think people get it mixed up when we say hobby versus the community or like thereof. I, I think it's two separate parts. For me, the hobby itself will always do it for me because I've always been passionate about, um, my love for dolls and doll collecting. And then of course, even though I had that long pause when I started having my real children, of course, I didn't have time to collect dolls at that time or really seek out the, the lifelike dolls or anything like that. Um, but as soon as I could, I did. And I've been, um, been doing it for uh, probably about 10 years now. Um, so the hobby itself will always do it for me rather I do it in pro you know I enjoy it privately or I share and so that brings me to like the community sometime I'm in and out with the community sometime I love the um I, I love the 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 um socializing with the community and being a part of the community and being in the know and you know all into the buzz and all that and sometimes I absolutely hate it um sometimes it puts a cloud over the hobby itself and I have to take a step back because we're dealing with so many different people, different cultures, uh, cultural backgrounds, different, you know, demographics. You got, you got the, uh, the middle class, the rich, the, um, uh, um, people that, I don't know, that's below middle class, I guess, if you want to say, um, but I don't, I think, you know, when I first came, the the community just really, really, really was so much different. And a lot of people will argue that. I've had people say, oh, it's always been this way. It's always been. Well, it hasn't for me. In my experience, it hasn't been. Um, my experience, it was a lot less politics, a lot less of all the you know, other stuff going on. And maybe, you know, as, you know, when I was a smaller channel and I, you know, wasn't as opinionated or, you know, really had as many eyes on me, maybe I wasn't exposed to a lot. And so maybe I just lived in a bubble, which was great. Um, I did not try to make myself you know, like make my channel become a bigger channel or anything like that. I just did what I like doing and it just grew organically. And then, um, but that, that changed how people, you know, view you. Like, uh, for instance, you know, there's a lot of things that I can't do on my channel because I'll get messages like, you know, you have a bigger channel, so... Um, you shouldn't be doing these things because people are going to follow you or people are going to listen to you or this, that, and other. And I don't, I don't even consider my channel, to be honest, I don't consider it to be big. But, yeah, so it's different from when, you know, when I first started. Um, but for me, I love, I love collecting. Um, when, and also, as far as a hobby part goes... It was also a lot different back then too because I think more artists were more into it because they enjoyed 
enjoyed what they do. They loved what I do. I mean, what they do did. They didn't. It wasn't so much of greed or, you know, the competitiveness for who can make the biggest buck. You know, um, whose doll's gonna sell for the most type situation. It wasn't. It wasn't as much of that going on either. And I feel like, you know, you got more. Like I said, artists just have more integrity to, like, when I first came into it, it, the excitement for me is collecting something so unique and you having, like, this one-of-a-kind, you know, handmade doll that was just amazing. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. Like, you know, I, I remember telling people that wasn't in the hobby, like, my family and friends, like, these people literally paint these babies from, you know, nothing. And these people sculpt them from nothing. And, and... You know, I was so fascinated, you know, and then they, they never make the same babies over again. Now you got, you know, there's a quite a bit of artists that actually will duplicate your doll in a split second. And nothing unique and special will be about that $3,000 that you spent on that doll. Because someone else will have an identical one just like yours. That kind of, to me, kind of spoils the joy of collecting. Um, it's not about the sculpt itself. Like, I don't mind having the same sculpt. Um, I don't want to have the exact same baby as somebody else. That's, you know, kick me if I, if, you know, if that's the way I feel. Now, am I going to throw a tantrum, make videos, and have a fit and fall out on the ground? Absolutely not. Um, but to the point of like, yeah, I don't want it no more. And I would probably just sell my doll and never buy from that particular artist again. That's, you know, how I do. And also, like, I don't like to see the mechanical paintwork. And I think I've spoke on this before. Um, that kind of changed with the hobby as well. Like, I see, like, oh, every baby looks the same. Like, no matter what the kit is, you do the same marking in the same place and the this and the that. And you never switch it up. It's just, like, you got five gallons of the same paint already painted, poured, and just repainted. Um, so, you know, I, that part changed, but that don't affect me as much because guess what? I have the freedom to buy what I want to buy and what I don't want to buy. So I'm still enjoying being able to find like rare finds or unique, uniquely painted babies by particular artists or artists that, you know, kind of do one, one paint the sculpt once and move on. I, I enjoy collecting from them. You know, I do. Um, or if, even if they paint, you know, the sculpt multiple times, they paint them different. I love that. I love um, finding, like, little odd kits that's not in the big, you know, uh, spotlight. Like, for instance, like, everybody is all about Laura right now. Like, for me, that's not my target's kit. Like... When I paint my next Laura, I won't share it. Like, I'll just keep it private to myself because I don't care to be in, in the midst of a million other Lauras. You know what I mean? Um, so, a lot of stuff, like, you know, with the hobby has changed. A lot of stuff with me has changed and how I like to do things. And But I guess at the end of the day, I still enjoy parts of the community and I still enjoy, like, I enjoy hanging out with, you know, my live streams with other collectors and hearing what they think and what they got to say. I think it's hilarious a lot of times when I hear somebody else saying stuff that I've been thinking, but I just haven't said it. Because, um, here's the thing. Ever since I started painting, I feel like I lost my voice to speak. I feel like if I say something, I gotta, I gotta walk on eggshells because if I say the wrong thing... You know, people won't want to buy from me or people will try to, like, basically, you know, cancel me from being able to buy kits from other sculptors or artists or whatever the case may be. So I kind of have to be, like, a little bit closed mouth. And I, that part kind of dims my light a little bit because it hurts me to be less vocal than not. So, um... That part of the hobby, again, like I said, it that bothers me. But, you know, I try to be... Lately, I've been being a little bit more I don't care type way. Um, 
especially in the chatterbox I feel like I'm a little bit more comfortable but yeah it's a, it's a lot of different things there's a lot of things that I think have changed for me with the hobby so I would say the community don't do it for me anymore like it used to but the hobby does um it's it's uh the hobby will collect it like you know how people say oh I'm leaving the hobby I'm gonna sell all my dog I feel like those people collect more for show and tell or collect more for the socializing and, and, and networking than they do the actual um, doll collecting itself because if I leave the hobby and I want to stop doing YouTube or stop selling whatever the case may be if I want to just become 100% a private collector I'm not going to sell my dolls to do that um maybe there are dolls that I hold on to I have I don't have one right now in my collection that I can say that I have just for social media um I have in the past and when I mean that I had like uh the Gabby uh the Gabby doll that I had it was I wasn't in love with her sculpt um I did love her painting but I wasn't in love with her sculpt as much, but I kept her as long as I did because she had become such a big deal on my channel and people really, really loved her. And I, you know, did the little skits with her and stuff. So I kept her around way longer than I would have had she not been a big to do for other people and brought a lot of people joy and made people laugh. Um, if I was leaving the community and I had that doll in my collection, that would, yeah, then in that case, I would be like, okay, that one's going to go. And whoever else that I had that I was just keeping for, like, skits and role play and stuff like that. Um, but otherwise, no. And I actually, to be honest, I really love to share, but I think lately I've been more into not wanting to share. Um... My personal collection, I like sharing my work and sharing, you know, the dolls that I'm painting and stuff like that. But um, some of my more personal dolls, I, I actually find that I enjoy them more. I have less, you know, less uh, critique, less to worry about what people think and what they got to say about it. Um, and yeah, so yeah, so I guess the shorter answer would have just been. Yes, the hobby still does it for me, but I guess I added two parts to it. The hobby does it for me. Sometimes the community don't. Sometimes you love, I love to see when the community come together and stand together for, for good causes or, you know, somebody's sick or something's going on with a collector or artist in the community and everybody band together and, and show love and support. I think that's a beautiful thing because we don't have to because we're not you know, within people, personal lives and stuff like that. But I absolutely can't stand a hobby when they band together and bully people or try to, you know, push people out of the hobby or, um, now, and I, I'm not saying, and I don't mean that as far as like people that really are doing things that are like, damaging to the hobby and I I shouldn't I'm not gonna go deep into that now those type people I'm not saying that nope I, I feel like nobody deserves to be bullied but I can understand them people being like more like um like people not interacting with them or not dealing with them if that that if if you're not you know if you don't have to share the same beliefs and value system I guess but I, yeah, I definitely still don't condone no type of bullying or whatever the case may be. Um, but freedom of speech is real and it doesn't work just one way. But that's all I'm going to say on that for now. Um, but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed watching my uh, little boy just laying here. <laughs> Basically, let me see. I don't know if I can show you guys look at his little... His little shoes, I think they're so cute. I can't get over that, that he could fit those little shoes and it looks so cute. Because he's such a tiny little boy. And um, I tell you what, um, every time I look at him and I spend time with him, 
I feel like I cannot let him go. Like, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like he has such a great color. Um, and I don't always get a color that I totally love. Like, people think, that's another video for another day. But I, I know people think, you know, oh, you got to love everything that you make. I, I bet you just fall in love with them. Not, not really. Um, Sometimes I feel like. <laughs> it's not all that and I just be like eh and you know but hey it is what it is but this one I really really like I think his color came out really really good he actually is making me want to buy this other full body baby awake baby that I've been thinking about buying and just hasn't haven't bought yet um I I almost think I might that's just my what my I might just go ahead and do that today <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm gonna go broke on buying uh, babies. But um, yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys soon. And hopefully I'll be back working. I've kind of been like taking a break and only rooting. Um, but maybe soon I'll, I'll be back to full swing of things. Till next time. Let me know in the comments, does a hobby do it for you? Does the community do it for you? What are you, where are you at with it? You know, um, later, bye.